Yo, 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 what's up everybody? NJ Bike Life here out on the uh, FZ6 by myself. Eric wasn't around. The Grom Squad hates me so they don't hang out with me anymore because I got a real man's bike. Um, but still to this day I still think about why I sold the Grom and if I should uh, buy another one one day. But I think about it more than I actually think I would ever buy another Grom. The Grom was an awesome bike, amazing bike. The amount of people that stopped to talk to you about it was amazing. The amount of like, the amount of miles that I put on a bike in such a short amount of time and how like carefree that bike was, was amazing. But like I said in the previous video, it's just, that bike was just too slow. You know, like if it was a 250 on a small bike like that, that'd be awesome. Even if it was like a 150 where it just had a little bit more pickup, that would have been better. And then um, another setback to me ever buying another one is that that bike, I had so much money into it. And like if I get another bike, it's instantly $300 for the exhaust, instantly $250 bucks for the uh, Olin suspension and in the front it's instantly another 300 bucks for the um yss stage two so it's like that, that that bike could definitely add up very quickly if i ever do get another one so if there's no groms out there for two grand it ain't worth my time to really get involved with them because i'm going to be easily dropping a thousand bucks quickly you know very quickly right after i sold it i I seen that there was a Grom online for two grand or for 2,400, and I messaged the kid. I was like, "Hey man, I'll give you two grand right now." And he was like, "Ah, 2,400 is kind of firm. I don't, I don't really want to sell it that low." Blah blah blah. I was like, "Dude, no problem. I understand." But I just sold my bike, and I'm having kind of some second regrets. So I figured I would quickly ask you and impulse buy it if it was possible. But luckily, he said no. It's not available. So. That worked out, so now I don't have it. Which I'm okay with, you know. I'm, I'm okay with just one bike for now. You know, I think I'm gonna wanna do like an Enduro again once the people who I rode Groms with, like once VJ and them, decide to get bigger bikes. I think that's when I'll, I'll pop up another Enduro. Of course, I sold my WR for dirt cheap, so I, I won't be getting another WR. Although I wish I could, because that bike was amazing, but the one I had just had some work to be done to it and I was just kind of shying away from it when realistically the way I look at it I should have fixed it and that would have been good to have that bike still but whatever. No no regrets, right? So I um like I said I'm 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 happy with this bike. I'm content with this bike. Everything's going nice and smooth with it. But I'm always itching to have another bike. I don't know why. But I always feel the need to have multiple of anything. Like I have two cars right now. I have two everything, you know? So not having a second bike kind of upsets me a little bit because of the little bit that I get to ride. Like if I ride with this bike, I can't go in the woods, right? So everybody that I was riding grounds with wanted to explore the woods. So now that's off limits for me. And that kind of upsets me. I haven't rode with really anyone from the Grom squad in a long time just because of the fact that I don't have a Grom and either they don't want to ride with a bigger bike or our schedules just aren't mashing up, but what are you going to do, right? Um, yeah, I, I don't even really ride this bike that much, you know. I put a, I put 150 miles on it in a week or so, and but that's like nothing compared to what I was riding when I first got my license or what I was riding when I first got the Grom. But I do want to um, start making a couple more videos here and there. Uh, ride with different people. You know, I just had that video with the subscriber ride with Eric and Eric's been wanting to ride with me for so long. And then we started riding and then for some reason I just didn't have the desire to make a YouTube video. It's just like... I don't know. I just didn't have the desire to make a YouTube video because everybody was digging the Grom videos. And, 
no one's just gonna want to see me cruising around just hitting the streets like this you know just talking to myself there's no like hooliganness about it there's no like swag points about it it's just you know a regular cruiser bike but like i said be sure to look at the future because i'm definitely going to be getting either a bigger enduro or or a little like hooligan bike so we'll, we'll see what actually happens but i miss not being able to go in the woods and like random exploring with VJ. So we'll see what happens as far as that goes. I, um, I've been doing a lot of other stuff other than riding. Like I, I've been doing a lot of scrapping. We're like metal scrapping, metal recycling, where you just drive around the streets, people's garbage that's outside, you just grab the metal that's from it and sell it to the scrapyard. Or you find lawnmowers or grills and stuff like that that work, and then you just sell those for more money than you would have got at a scrapyard. I've been doing a lot, a lot of that lately since I got my truck, and uh, that kind of takes the time from the Grom, so I don't know as far as what I'm going to be. If I want to, like, because I don't know how you guys felt about the vlog. Like when I did the daily vlog, but I kind of want to do that with the with the scrapping, you know, not just be an NJ like bike life channel, but like a my channel with vlogging in it. So I mean, we'll see where the channel goes, but I kind of want to open it up to some scrap life videos. There's a lot of scrappers on YouTube, and I could I could definitely fit in as one of the boys. Because I'm out there heavy scrapping. I'm out every day collecting metal, collecting copper, aluminum, so forth and so on. And I load my truck up pretty good and I have cool interactions that people might want to see, so I might I might get into that. Maybe I'll start making some scrap videos. Let me know in the comments below what you guys uh, want to see. I don't I know like Most of my subscribers don't really comment on my stuff for some reason. I don't get too many comments, but Maybe that's just cuz I don't have to interact enough with you guys. I don't know but I know out of the 771 subscribers I get like little comments here and there Which is weird. I mean I try to interact as best I can What are you gonna do, right? Can Rome wasn't built in a day. Whatever that means. That's, that has nothing to do with this conversation. But uh Yeah, so let me know if you guys want to see some scrap life videos. Like I said, I don't really ride with the Grom squad anymore just because I don't have a Grom and they're you know it's summertime now and people are busy so that last ride I did with Eric was like the last ride that I actually had recently. The rest of those videos with the Groms were, you know, from a couple months, if not a month ago. So, just let me know in the comments below. Until then, I'll I'll be banging out videos on this bike. Uh, hopefully, in the future, I grab another bike, but we'll see what actually happens. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. And uh, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, even though most of you don't comment, which is okay. It don't matter to me. But I'll see you guys later.